Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. This afternoon we have an opportunity to examine some lesions which are very familiar to most of us because they occur on the skin with a good bit of frequency. But in terms of seeing them in the oral cavity, it, uh, it is not uh, such a common experience. Our patient uh, first noticed lesions of this type approximately 18 months ago in the anterior portion of the uh, mandible on the gingiva. He had these lesions removed and a biopsy performed upon the tissue that was removed. This is the area and you can see that the uh, lesions have uh, regrown. He would describe them as uh, a verrucous in their appearance. They stand up from the gingiva. They are distinctly wart-like in their uh, appearance. Now, 18 months later, he presents with lesions not only on the labial aspect of the mandibular gingiva, but also lingual to these teeth as well. Let's look back there. And we're very low on air pressure here, but uh, perhaps you can see that this uh, area is distinctly warty in its appearance. In addition to the mandibular lesions, the patient has two other areas involved. One is uh, lingual to the lateral and central incisor. You can notice with the air blast how this lesion is uh, filamentous and moves like little fronds in the direction of the, the blast here. The next lesion is one that is just very uh, new. We would call it an incipient lesion. And it uh, lies distal to the cuspid tooth in the interproximal area between the cuspid and the first bicuspid tooth. Very small in size, it nevertheless possesses the same surface features of the other lesions. This patient gives a history which is quite typical of warts on the skin. You notice that 18 months ago he had his first lesions in the mandible. Subsequent to its removal, it recurred. And then uh, three months ago, the maxillary lesions uh, appeared. Uh, these lesions are infectious. Their cause is a virus. And uh, for this reason, the patient must be watched after removal of the lesion to see that they do not recur. If they uh, recur, uh, additional removal is indicated. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu/license.